Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, today's video is about Thursday flipping in FIV Ultimate Team. I know it's only Wednesday, but Thursday is going to be a big day for FIFA Ultimate Team, and I need to talk with you about it a day ahead of time to get you ready, get you prepared, and everything that's going to happen with rewards, Thursday flipping, batch two coming into packs on Thursday slash Friday. And now, after today's vote... Uh, between Kempembe, Mendez, and Balde Diao, or Kieta Balde, uh, there's some interesting stuff that could happen this week on Wednesday. So you might be like, yo, why are we talking about Thursday flipping? Nobody plays this game. Nobody's Thursday flipping, trying to make coins. I would highly disagree with you. There are a lot of people that are still trying to make coins and uh, be profitable and make coins to just do more content on FIFA. People need to make coins to do all these SBCs because EA is putting out like an SBC every other day. People want to take part in them, put those cards in their squad and SBC fodder is very expensive. So there are still a lot of people that are trading at this time. So this video is for all you guys or just a market update regardless uh, of that. If you're just interested in what's going to happen this week, Wednesday and Thursday, this one's for you. Because again, after today's vote, I do think it makes things very interesting and especially with the batch two coming out later this week now today we did have another vote that was our content basically for uh tuesday was the vote between kieta balde between kempembe and between uh tiago mendez personally i think kempembe is gonna win i picked kieta balde just because it's different uh it'd be a cool card to have right uh it'd be way cooler to have this boosted card than kempembe because we just got sar who is a french center back and if we do get kempembe which I, do, I think we will because he is a French PSG center back and he could be a very, very OP card in this game. The way that EA has been doing things, and this is also confirmed by just all of these voting cards that they have put out. Think about the last few they put out. Jovic, 93 rated. Uh, Erickson, 94 rated. Firmino, 93 rated. Uh, and especially if you go over here to Footbin and take a look at the front page at these new cards that have been added to draft, the... The guys that hadn't that were in the vote that didn't win, they are all 93 or 94 rated uh, across the board. So these are all 93. But most of these cards they've been upgrading have been 93 or 94 rated. So imagine a 93 or 94 Kim Pembe. This card is going to be ridiculous. A plus 9 or plus 10 stat boost on this card all the way around. He is going to be an SBC that a lot of people want to do. He's French as well. He's going to link in and submit or just fit into so many people's teams that I think this SBC is going to cause some market movements just because it's probably going to be cheap. It's PSG and it's French and it's going to have juiced out statistics, um, in-game stats and everything. Seriously, I think this SBC is going to be a market mover on Thursday along with everything else that goes on. So I want to talk about this week. What does this SBC coming mean for like Thursday flipping? What's going to move upwards in the market this week? Um, just based on what we've had in the game recently. Just look at all the SBC cards and a lot of the way they've been trying to push us lately in foot, right? They've given us a lot of Premier League players, a lot of Brazilians, and a lot of French cards for Len Mendy and Dombele, guys like that. Uh, they're either pushing us both of those two ways. They've done that all year. So many French cards this year, even Sar, right? We've had so many French cards uh, as SBCs and uh so many brazilians and that is not stopping at all like we just had this in Dombele. uh we had the uh diaby french left mid uh card that just got upgraded and now we have the malang sar as well and i know a ton of people did this sbc right here this 92 sar a ton of people did it he's a very very good card uh and i think a lot of people would also get this kempembe to link up with him. And people that didn't even do, do SAR will probably do this Kempembe as well. Because Kempembe card, I think, will look better than SAR's uh, when it does come out. So that makes for some interesting market movements. Now, now we think, like, if people are focusing on French or even League One links, what kind of stuff is going to rise up this week at rewards? Now, we cannot look for... Uh, we, we can't look at foot birthdays as we're going through some of the special cards on FIFA to look at this week or maybe a stuff that could rise at rewards as a Thursday investment. We can't look at foot birthdays because these cards are coming back into packs on either Thursday or Friday. Uh, we can't look at shapeshifters really that much uh, because they're still in packs. They're going to get hit with reward supply. Same thing with when we refresh. 
future stars, headliners. So where do we kind of have to look? We kind of have to look at team of the seasons and icons. Those are the only two areas this week that I would recommend trying to buy and flip during a Thursday flipping period. That's honestly the only way that I would go. And to even narrow it down a little bit more, I would focus on the League Untots, the Premier League team of the season cards, maybe Bundesliga, La Liga, uh, and then Brazilian and French links. Honestly, uh, you know, Lala is somebody who is a very rare right back, but this is a card that so many people are going to want to want this week, even more after last week. This guy was is up almost 100,000 coins from where he was last week. This guy was like 350k, 370-ish before the uh, SAR SPC came out. I would not be surprised if this guy reaches 500,000 coins this week because, again, more French cards coming into the game. I'm trying to find this dude like at the lower 400s if possible. Um, and whatever happens today on Wednesday in terms of content could affect this card's price a little bit. He could go down a little bit, but this is like a very obvious investment. It's already started to get inflated a little bit. Um, but if you see that around like 410, 420 on the PlayStation, I would be a big fan of that card just because that's going to be the first card everybody goes and tries to link up with their new SAR or with their new Kempembe card in FIFA Ultimate Team. So that's something to consider there. Uh, one other thing to consider is if we just got two French center backs, right? Who are you going to link to uh, in goal? Steve Mandanda, team of the season card, extinct. Can't really do too well with him, right? Yoris. Let's say you want to buy Yoris card. He's like the next best uh, French goalkeeper in this game. He has a road to the final card that is probably going to be re-released in packs. It's right now 140,000 coins. So I don't really think you want to go with either of those, to be honest. Uh, some people have mentioned like maybe the Kalor Navas inform. I don't know which version of Kalor Navas is in packs right now. I feel like it's this 89. I feel like it's this uh, 89 rated Kalor Navas inform. Is that true? Let's take a look at this on Footbin. 44k for this card. Yeah, it's got to be true. This has got to be the one that's in packs, right? Yeah, this one's definitely in packs. The 89 rated Kalor Navas. Is this a good investment this week? I honestly think that it is. Right now he's 44,000 coins. And he is 40, he was like, he's in the, uh, kind of in like the 30, high 30s to, to mid 40s this week. I would be definitely a fan of this card on the PlayStation. Uh, it looks really rare as well. I'm a big fan of this. If Kempembe does come out, this might be a little bit overlooked right now at the moment. Just because there's so many goalkeepers that are not really easy to get strong links to that are French. Unless you're using an icon goalkeeper, um... Not that there's really a French icon goalkeeper, but just icon goalkeepers in general to get links. Uh, there's not a lot of French GKs out there. So uh, I kind of like this one this week. Honestly, we don't invest in goalkeepers that much for awards. But if people have SAR and they have Kempembe this week, this guy is a prime candidate for a weekend league investment around the low 40k range on the PlayStation and on the Xbox. I would say probably, wow, actually Xbox is really cheap right now. 36k on the Xbox. Uh, like high 30s on the Xbox as well. Watch for some supply during rewards. Did uh, did his card go up at all? No, he fluctuates between like 30 high 30s and low 40s every day, uh, according to Footbin. So in the th high 30s to low 40s for this card, is I'm a fan of. I think it could very easily go to 50K this weekend as he goes out of batch one release and um, is has the links to Kempembe. So I'm a big fan of that. One other thing I want to just watch out for in general is just League Un cards, right? Uh, Awar, very popular card in this game. I know we have other center mids. I know we have other special cards that are French that have been released already. This guy, I think, was closer to like 200,000 coins earlier this week with when the Fabinho SBC dropped. I think it was on Monday. Yeah, check this out. Monday, this guy's almost down to 214K. I saw a couple pop up actually under that. Uh, and then yesterday as well, he was 215, 214, 213. If you see this guy in like the 210 range or under 200K, like under, in the 190s or maybe 180s on Xbox, I'm a fan because again, French links are going to be so big in this weekend, I think, because more and more people are finishing Mendy. More and more people are doing the SAR SBC and they'll do Kempembe. And then, uh, you know, Diaby as well got that 95 rated upgrade. Just a lot of French potential this weekend, uh, which I like that card for. I do also like Depay as a just another League One investment. Di Maria as well. All these guys are kind of around 200,000 coins, but they're out of packs. They're League Un, and they link 
to these popular players that are just now getting SBCs that people are using and trying in FIFA. Um, Marquinhos is one that I want to talk about because this guy could be in for a wild ride this weekend, in my opinion. He's up about 20K from where he was. He was 190 during the week this week. He's up over 220 right now. I think that this card is inflated right now with because of two things. Number one, he went down a little bit when Sar came out because that's a, a basically substitute good. But he's now going up because people are trying to link maybe their Lala and their Sar and other for, uh, League Un players together, PSG players. But they also have that uh, Fabinho and the Firmino card that they just got in foot as well. So this is like a Brazilian link with those League Un links as well. This card probably is going to drop on Thursday when Kempembe comes out. When Kempembe comes out on Thursday, this card is probably going to drop, but I think it will have a rebound potential later this weekend. I, that's what I think. A lot of the stuff for Thursday rewards this week, I don't know how much of it. I'm trying to I'm trying to talk to you guys and, and figure out some things and, and talk through some cards that could go up before 6 p.m. UK on Thursday especially with some of these team of the season cards and some of the icons, you might see them rise up a little bit more before 6 p.m. on Thursday. There might be an opportunity, honestly, to kind of double dip, I guess you could say. Invest for rewards, see some stuff go up. You got to pick your, you know, pick your points really closely and pick them correctly, which is really why I kind of like icons for that. And then also um, buy panic at 6, 7, 8 p.m. UK on Thursday with all the stuff that comes out. If if that is the actual date when batch two cards are going to come out, you're probably going to see some panic on foot birthdays. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later this week with like the batch one and batch two kind of market movements. It's still just a big question. Is batch one going to be re-released on Thursday or Friday? Because the website says Friday, but in game here it says Thursday. So that's going to be the big question that we don't know as of yet. <clears throat> we have to kind of look forward to, but I would expect a little bit of panic uh, on Thursday regardless because this is what it says in game. And if they do put out a tweet on Thursday, it says, hey, EA Sports is, you know, we're putting in batch two. Then I do think you would see some uh, some panic <clears throat> on more of those batch two cards like for birthdays and stuff like that. But again, for weekend league rewards, I like French, Brazilian team of the seasons, Premier League cards as well. Uh, you know, Tots cards from the Prem. I'm a fan of those, although there are a lot of them are already inflated. Um, you know, Vardy is up. Uh, De, De Bruyne is all of these guards are really up in price a decent amount, except for Henderson. Henderson is really the only one that is not inflated that much. And I think it's just because of uh, the Fabinho, which honestly, this card is still in the 120s. Isn't terrible for me. If he drops down a little bit more, if like 120 flat is an option, I would get really interested with his Jordan Henderson, at least on the PlayStation, at 120k flat. Um, but with Fabinho being out, this guy was kind of replaced by that Fabinho card. But a lot of the other Premier League links are up, right? Rashford was like 290k during the weekend league sellout this weekend. Uh, he is now up to 330. So this guy is actually up a decent amount, uh, just because people are starting to build Premier League squads. People are linking this guy to Bruno Fernandez. Wambasaka is up like 40,000 coins. Trent's up 40k. Allison's up. Van Dyke, Salah. Literally all Prem Tots cards are inflated just because there's more hype with the Prem. One card that's not, and I actually flipped this guy last week. Soyuncu. Soyuncu is not inflated. Now, if we do get a um, a Kempembe SBC, then I do think this card could take a hit in price. Um but this would be one that I could also see a rebound on as well because people need Premier League center backs with these more Premier League special cards coming out. So that's kind of it for like the team of the season cards. Now, if we're looking at icons, right? A lot of icons, people might think, well, are there, is there hype for icons? You know, we've had a prime icon SBC. Is there still hype for this stuff? I think there absolutely is. A lot of these cards that are the favorites that people use a lot, Makalele, people still use a lot. Um, especially there could be some more hype on a Makalele card because of a Kempembe coming out. 200,000 coins for this card. Um, last week, he went from 207. He was in the low 200s. And then on the weekend, he was 265. He was in the two, 250s, 240s. So he went from 200 to 240 uh, from the midweek. I don't mind this card again this week. Maybe down. Wow, he was really low earlier today. He got lows of 190 earlier today. I don't mind this card. And, you know, Baby Blanc is another one. 
these cards are just so cheap now at this stage of the game um, that almost everybody can afford them. Not everybody, but a lot of people can afford them. So I don't mind a lot of these French midfielder, um, like maybe even Petit could be somebody else that you look at this week. Prime Petit. Look at moments cards as well, because some of the top tier icons, the moments cards are starting to just creep up there in price because people are now at the point in the game where they have a lot of coins left and they're starting to buy some of these cards. So just start to get interested in maybe some of these icons this week. Uh, some of the moments cards are just crazy cheap anyway. Like this guy was over a million coins for most of the year this year. Now he's in the 600k range. This is the type of card that I would even expect to see go up a little bit this week. Just watch out for some of those meta usable icons. Uh, you could see a bounce or a, a drop and then a bounce in a guy like Desai or Blanc. Of course, again, with Kempembe coming out, this guy's 490,000 coins at the moment. Blanc, I think, is somebody who I've been trading with this week a little bit. This card goes from like 450 to 480, 490 all the time. You know, some decent little quick flips. Maybe this guy drops down, you know, because uh, the Kempembe SBC is probably going to be in like the 250K range. Maybe this guy drops down 70, 80,000 coins. He could easily pop right back up after that initial panic selling as people go to link their Kempembe's together with other French cards in their teams with this Blanc. So that's just kind of my thoughts. Of course, the market could not react as well to Kempembe as I'm talking it up right now. It just all depends on the price. But I think there's going to be, especially if Batch 2 comes out on Thursday, a decent amount of panic around like the Thursday 6 p.m. time frame and then a rebound after that into Friday. If the Batch 2 does not come on Thursday and it actually does come on Friday, then we'll have to talk about that again on Friday with a whole nother round of panic and then another time of those cards rising back up into Friday night as people play the weekend league because people know these rewards are solid we saw last week people were packing saint maximin red uh, a lot of team of the season cards were supplied again so that's the only issue with rewards this week is that there are team of the season cards that will be in those packs which again is why uh, i would say make sure it's a really meta tots card uh, a lot of french links a lot of stuff like that and then look at icons for real um, because I do think they could be pretty good flips this week. Just go on Footbin, look at some of the middle, baby, and prime, even prime moments cards that are just popular, usable, and very meta items uh, on this game. Last thing, very last thing I haven't showed you guys, and I, I wanted to talk about this a little bit today as well. This is a little clip uh, from Nep. This is the new update that was dropped uh, today. The title update that was dropped uh, yesterday, technically, the special quality filter, uh, this is EA going above and beyond what we even wanted on the transfer market. All we were asking for is a way to uh, separate rare and non-rare cards. And they go ahead and give us this special filter that is going to filter out all the different card types by card type on the market. So instead of having bronze, silver, gold special, now we're going to be able to click into that using, I think, the start button on your console. And you'll be able to choose any card type that is in the game this opens up a whole new possibility maybe we'll have like we'll be able to see them add card types before they actually come out into the game who knows uh, this is really interesting for the game and for fifa just searching the transfer market it's going to make it a lot easier to find some cards that were not searchable before for the casual player and for the hardcore like us and then also they fixed the compare price glitch after literally since the start of the game this has been a problem and they go out and they finally fix the compare price glitch, uh, which if you did not, if you were not aware of that, sometimes when you would compare a price on your transfer targets, I noticed that most often when a player you, you were watching was not expired, um, then it would only show you like the first page or two and it would stop the listings before it would show all of them. So GG's to EA for finally fixing that one. Uh, shout out to EA on that one for real. But again, this week I do think there's a possibility to make some coins from rewards. Uh, with the stuff that is going to be in packs. Again, I think I would focus on icons mostly with team of the season cards as a good supplement to that if you do want to make some coins. And then seriously, every single day when the content drops, uh, whatever content there is, they're dropping solid content, usable content almost every single day. And a lot of people are still on this game. You literally in yesterday's video, uh, David Louise, who I mentioned as probably a good buy in like the 130 thousand coin range like one low low to mid 120s 130s 
Uh, he is now up to 140,000 coins after the Fabinho initial panic selling when he was down to like 125. So he's already started to rebound. I would accept. I would expect these cards to get supplied a little bit more today with rewards, of course, as they did last week. But then you know some of them are going to rebound back up as well. So that's something that we'll look out and maybe talk about a bit more in tomorrow's video specifically. Uh, some other ways that we could attack the rewards market on Thursday. But I did want to make this video today with you guys just to talk about what could happen with the Kempembe SBC, all the hype around that. And then of course, um, show you the, the new update. And yeah, just talk about what is going on. I don't know what expect to expect today for content. Do we get another objective player? I think last week and Wednesday is when they released Bruno Fernandez. Five objective players, if they added another one in here would be crazy. I don't really know if we're due one since Kubo expires in two days. Uh, maybe some sort of SBC today. Not entirely sure what they're going to do, but it might get interesting today on Wednesday. We'll see. Of course, always watch out for some panic around the 6 p.m. time frame. A little bit of rebound after that is something that I would expect as well. It's going to be an interesting Wednesday on the foot market, of course, because people are all on edge, right? These new summer heat cards come out and they'll sell whatever they need to sell to go do that new SBC card. And of course, we're one day away. Thursday as well is the big game between City and Liverpool. So if you have not done either of those SBCs, which I have not yet, I'll be doing them very soon. Make sure you get on that because you definitely, I think, want to do the Fabinho and maybe the Phil Foden because if Man City does end up winning or if they just get a plus one for a draw, uh, both of these cards still could look pretty good. But of course, we want the win, right? All or nothing is kind of what we want at this stage of the game. If you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.